How's it going guys? Minehacker65 here again with another Digimon uh, video. Um, I'm gonna get right in. I don't have any announcements today, so um, I'm gonna get right into the video. So, uh, hope you enjoy. See you in a sec. Alright, I'm back. Okay. So, let's see who's in my party. None of them are in my party. I gotta move them, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party memory, yeah. Right, let's get out of here. It's still really bright. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I just had a cuteness overload. I'll just log out for now. <laughs> you made it back in one piece, didn't you? I wouldn't have expected anything different. Still, those abilities border on the unreal. Maybe the reason you still adhere to physical laws has to do with an instinctual fear present in all physical organisms. <laughs> this is truly fascinating. Pardon me, Kyo-chan. There you go again, sneaking up on me, old man. Oops, I'm sorry, I did it again. What do you do, fart? I mean, people, old people do that, I mean... At least from my experience. And could you stop calling me Kyo-chan? It's embarrassing. That was a childhood nickname. Not going to happen, my dear. You'll always be Kyo-chan to me. No matter how old you get or how brilliant of a detective you become. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! That wasn't very funny. How long have you been there? What have you heard? I just got here. Is something wrong? Oh, you have a client. Sorry, sorry. Were you going over a case? No, this is, well, a client of sorts, though of a somewhat unconventional nature. Oh, just who are you then? I'm an assistant detective. Let me introduce you. This is Detective Mariyoshi. I, I feel like I pronounced that right. He's an old friend from when my father ran the agency, and I trust him completely. He's the most elite detective the force has on cybercrime. Looks like, look, looks are deceiving, you were thinking. Well, I suppose I don't exactly fit the mold. But if I did, I'd never be able to tag along with the shadier element. Oops, a slip of the tongue. <laughs> yeah, so funny. So, yeah, that made no sense. So is there something afoot? If it's a case, sit on a sofa and wait a bit. I'll just whip up some tasty coffee. No, thank you. There's no case today. No need for coffee. He's try really trying to get out of drinking that coffee. I heard a rumor about Eden Syndrome. I thought you might be interested, Kyo-chan. Let's hear it, then. No need to worry about my assistant, old man. This is someone with a rather special connection with Eden. My assistant has the potential to become something of a specialist in the field. Let's hear what you have to say. I see. If you can vouch for your assistant, that's fine. The rumor concerns a special ward in the hospital where they're isolating the Eden Syndrome patients. Oh, do I need to explain what Eden Syndrome is to your future specialist? Please do. It's a rare condition where Eden users suddenly lose consciousness and are unable to wake up. We see more and more patients with each year, but the cause, symptoms, and treatment remain a mystery. There's a special ward at Central Hospital for Eden patients. Treatment and the search for the cure are underway. 
but information there is kept heavily restricted. There are facilities even relatives can't en enter. The rumor is that they're concealing facts to help protect Kamish Kamishiro- Kamishiro- Kamishiro's image. This remains firmly in rumor territory for now. But lately there have been happenings behind the scenes at Central Hospital. Behind the scenes? Meaning Kamishiro Enterprises, right? Yes, the, ca the hospital is under Kamishiro's control. The same Kamishiro who runs the Eden Network. The number of patients is increasing and symptoms are getting worse. Now, all of, now of all times is when Kamishiro needs to come clean and that remains silent. What? I don't know why I was getting into that. An alarming number of people are being admitted to the hospital in question, and security in the special ward has allegedly been beefed up. This means something is afoot. It's going to happen eventually. Yes, indeed. Hehe! <laughs> <laughs> Think I'll put on some coffee after all. We can toast the agency's success. Oh, look at the time. I better get back to the station. Sorry, but let's save the toast for another time. See you later. He's running! <laughs> oh, that was good. I'd watch out for coffee, especially the color and the solid chunks floating in. Ugh! I'd be aware of that co I'd be running from that coffee too, so... I fear the day is coming when I'll be forced to actually taste her coffee. <laughs> that day won't be pretty. <laughs> He's confused. <laughs> Oh, it shouldn't be that funny, but it is. It was as he said. Fresh info on Eden Syndrome is hard to come by. Kamishiro's behind-the-scenes restrictions are doing their job. And security will only get ramped up all the more from here on out. There's something very strange happening in Eden. Then you show up in your weird body, and at the same time, Kamishiro's apparently on the move. Is that all merely a coincidence? No, it has to be... To all be connected. The rationale is as plain as day. No leaps in logic necessary. I'm heading to Central Hospital. I need to get as much info as I can before security is stepped up. I'd be thrilled if you came with me. You might be able to get some info on your current state. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be. No, in your case, let's, let's go with open sesame. <laughs> I think I do that too well. In regards to making fun of things. Well, what to do? At times like these, I tend to start off with a frontal attack. Let's try direct negotiations to, in, to get us into the hospital's special ward. Uh, a frontal attack seems pretty sh uh, sketchy. But, pre you're a sharp one, but preconceived notions... Can sometimes lead to unintended consequences. Don't ask for the details. They say that ignorance is bliss after all. I'll give you instructions later. Until then, gather info inside the hospital. Asking questions is the most fundamental cornerstone in detective work. I wasn't joking when I said you could become a specialist in the field, my dear prospective assistant. Become a GP and record my activities in a chart, or become a boy with shining red cheeks. It's really a lot of fun. You say so, lady. Ooh, animation! Yay! She looks so sad. And she's just staring at me. Awkward. You know, I think I'll just say hello. Rude. I like how she has her digivice wrapped around her arm, too. It's 
better than on your head. Look like a dork. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I wonder if I have to go- I have to follow her. Looks like it might have to be the case. Run over this way, and over this way. I have no idea where I'm going. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's another metal. Another metal. Wait, was there a dead body in there? That's kind of weird. Okay, talk to people. Talk to people. Talk to people. Hi. He's there to see his daddy. Papa, I heard if you come to this clinic, you can never leave. Is that true? I want to get better and go back to school. Honey, that's just a rumor about the special ward. Don't worry, you're going to be healthy and back at school in no time. Grandpa looks like he's sleeping pretty hard. I wonder if he'll wake up tomorrow. Those pills are so depressing, dude. It's about time for Miss Sasaki's IV. Hmm, then after that... Okay, I'm getting nothing out of these people. You suck! It's the 12th floor general ward. Oh, I got something out of someone. Maybe I should go back to the lobby. Uh, sorry, but we have a policy against revealing patients' personal information. You never lady. I'm sorry, I'm just very busy right now. We're shorthanded with both doctors and nurses. I think I caught a cold. Got a fever 100.4, so don't get close. I have my own personal physician. All the staff are kind. It's great in the hospital. Talk to me. How is it ever today? How much longer am I going to have to wait? Hospitals do really get really crowded. Speak up, my ears aren't what they once were. But yeah, I know the last time my mom has stuff going on with her eyes and she needs to get like injections. I remember the last time we were there, which is like I think about a week or two ago. It literally took us an hour just to get called back. That was very annoying. So you want to know uh, dirt on the special ward? Well, I've got some. Apparently there's some isolation ward where not even family can visit. <gasps> dun dun dun! No, no way, I already knew that! One floor above the general ward is a special ward. It's meant for patients with particularly difficult illnesses. Okay, so I guess I'll try the special ward now. I can talk to them. Yay! This is a special ward. Unless your family or hospital staff, entry is strictly prohibited. 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 It's me. We can ride the elevator to the special ward floor, but can't enter the rooms without permission. It goes without saying we have no such permission. What do we do now? We take out the two guards and hack our way past the door, which is likely locked to get into the room. That escalated very quickly. This is what I call a frontal attack, but it takes time to prepare and the risks are high. Let's not rely on frontal attack now. We'll trust in your abilities. Our trump card. The terminal in the nurse's station should be connected to the hospital network. I don't have to spell it all out for you, do I? No, I pretty much put two and two together. I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to go. Yep, that's it. Boom! Alright, let's go. Up, oh, fight. Alright, guys, come on, let's go. Oh, 
Uh, that did a lot of damage, actually. Uh, bubbles. Tiger Tornado. Uh, my recording stopped. Oh, this is getting annoying. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, let's go. All right, here we go. Another fight. Guess first attack means I get to attack first. That lineup was really not fair. <laughs> Yeah, log out. I don't float around all day. You managed to get there without incident. Hee <laughs> hee, just as I expected it would go. That's the only way I can do that laugh, is if I do that high-pitched thing. I don't know why. Otherwise, it just sounds fake. Well, it sounds fake either way, but you know what I mean. Don't judge! Okay, let's move into action. Get the data from the room in the back while keeping an eye on the patient. Leave it to me! <laughs> I leave it to you, my perspective assistant. I can't hack into that, evidently. <gasps> it's me! No way! Is this me? I just made that observation! Is this my physical body? That was shocking, but... I wasn't expecting to see that my own body was in such good shape. I should be happy, I suppose. But if I'm being kept in the in an isolation ward, then I really must have Eden Syndrome. Computer! File 1, Eden Syndrome. A mysterious illness whereby people suddenly fall into comas while connected to the Eden Network. Originally, the term was given to the incessant vomiting and other symptoms common to those unused, unused to spending time in the digital world. But now, Eden Syndrome is used to describe the more serious malady ma ma of inexplicable loss of consciousness while connected to the Eden Network. After extended time in a coma, the body weakens, becoming more susceptible co to complications. In the worst cases, this has led to death. File 2. Treatments for Eden Syndrome. No effective treatment has been found for Eden Syndrome. Like they were talking about the entire time. Research continues into treatments and causes of this unexplained illness. File 3, Association with Kamishiro Enterprises. Eden is a large-scale digital space operated by Kamishiro Enterprises. Deeply affiliated with governmental agencies, Eden's business areas are expanding quickly. Immediate improvements and user training must be provided to warn users against long login times. Furthermore, the Eden interface uses Kamishiro Enterprise's propri proprietary technology, making future research sharing problematic. Guess I got what I needed. Oh! Busted! Why are you here? This is an area supposed to be off limits, or this area is supposed to be off limits, with guards watching over the only entrance. How'd you get in here? Did you do something to the guards? Who even are you? Even are you? Uh, who are you? Don't answer a question with a can't question. Answer me. I'm just a plain old detective assistant. Wait, is Karimi? I see. Well, never mind then came to investigate Eden Syndrome, right? Was there something you wanted to ask? I'll answer your questions. Don't get me wrong, I'm just trying to come clean in order to clear my own name here. I'm in debt to Kamishiro, so if you have a few questions, I can answer them, I think. What should I ask? Uh, is there a cure for Eden Syndrome? 
I've never heard of anyone ever recovering from it. Someone I know has been stuck in a deep sleep for a full eight years now. I'm sure he'll be fine. Someday he's sure to wake up. For now, all I can do is wait. What happens if you contract it? What happens? Well, as you can see, patients with Eden Syndrome all fall in a coma. I've heard of no other symptoms. Do you know someone who's shown others? Uh, who is that patient? This patient here? They were just brought in. They weren't here a few days ago. Are you worried about them? Oh! You two look exactly alike. Do you have a twin, perhaps? Of course, you would have gone for that. Hmm, I see. That's quite the coincidental, re coincidental resemblance there. Can't speak! There are rumors Kimishiro's involved in this, some kind of conspiracy. That's a misunderstanding, a mistake. Kimishiro wants to find a cure for Eden Syndrome, too. That's why they built the spe this special ward and have specialists working around the clock looking for a cure. It's ridiculous that anyone should suffer because of Eden. I've I've got to do something. I apologize for inter interrupting such an important conversation, but you have an uninvited guest. Oh Lord. This game! Miss Rai, we weren't expecting you today. Oh my god! It's like my sister all over again. <laughs> uh, Miss Kishibe, I'm on duty. Okay, moving on! <laughs> uh, right, Kishibe, making the rounds behind the scenes? I'm curious w what Kamishiro Bigwig is doing here. We got the information we needed, now come- now get out of here- there. <sighs> no, get out of there, no need to overstay your welcome. Oops, I've got a visitor as well. Let's meet in the lobby then, don't rush and don't make a fuss. Hide, quickly! I'm gonna hide in the back room. Oh dear Yuko, you're well, I trust. Miss Rai, what happened today? I don't recall seeing your name on the approved visitors list. No, I'm not. Maybe I was just struck with the sudden urge to see my dear yarling, darling Yuko. Are you worried about me being all by my lonesome? No, my Rai sense was tingling and I had to come see if you were being a gloomy Gus again. I knew it. This is all so terrible, isn't it? Not particularly. Look at you, acting all strong, but I know. I know all about it. If that d door slides open, he's kind of right in the op opening there. By the way, what have you been doing here? Nothing. Nothing special. A picnic of sorts? Yes, I mean, no. No, it's... Yes, dear Yuko, is something the matter? No, is there perhaps someone else here? Perhaps a boyfriend? No, it's nothing like that. Or maybe it's a girlfriend. Oh, what? Well, I'm glad there's equal opportunity here. Shall I have a little look around? Doing something unscrupulous in that room? Or better yet, something scandalous? What is with this lady? <laughs> Dude, just jump on the computer. Now, now, I've got you all figured out. You can come out now, Yuko's new squeeze. My name is Ryan. I'm tasked with being Yuko's guardian here. Holding hands or locking lips, guiding each other step by step toward adulthood. 
Oh, that's unnerving. So unnerving. I would not be chilling myself to current like that. That's not right. Well, Drat, there's nobody here. But dear Yuko, it doesn't matter. You can bring one or two boyfriends if you... Two boyfriends. Or even three dozen of them if you'd like. Why, when I was your age... Oh, a skank. Really? Now then, let's check in and see how he's doing. Don't you think he'll be happy if you see to see the two of us together? Um, sure. She doesn't really seem to like her guardian very much. Where did they... Yes, he did like I said! I called it! Alright, heading back. This shouldn't take too long. Cute. It's music, though. Usually I might type of, that type of music, but, you know, it's... Beat then drop, you know? Beat. Get really into the beat. Alright, let's do it again. Do it to it. Didn't take one. Oh, some of them have been maxed out. I wonder if I can get him to Digivolve. Yeah, I'll log out, but I'm gonna see about Digivolving too. You escaped that predicament all on your own. Hee <laughs> hee! See, I knew you could do it. Now then, shall we head back? I guess that wasn't an option. <laughs> I can't imagine what the shock of seeing your own body from the outside is like. If we think of it like an out-of-body experience, maybe we can find the solution. You're the first Eden Syndrome patient to exhibit these particular symptoms, the first irregular among amongst them. Simply knowing that is a major step in getting to the bottom of this. She's a very wise person, but she kind of dresses like a skank. We can't rush the in investigation. Mustn't hurry things along. Stay cool, stay calm. Doggedly and with all your might, exhibit endurance like hard black iron. My father used to say that all the time. But back to the issue at hand. What are you planning to do next? Don't you want to return to your original body? Don't you want to know the truth of what happened? <laughs> That's decided. You should work here as my assistant. They'll, there will be many cases dealing with Eden and cybercrime. The more work you do, the more clues that we'll have, be able to find. Don't worry, I am certain of your potential, and while you're at it, I'll cover your room and board. Besides, with your talents, who else is better suited for a cyber investigation? I'm expecting great things. Excellent, we have an agreement. From this point on forward, you are my assistant cyber sleuth. Have a seat on the sofa and wait. I'll make some coffee. We'll drink a toast to celebrate. <laughs> Uh, he's freaking out. Oh, it looks nasty. Uh, oh. Seaweed and red bean paste coffee. Oh. I need a minute after that. I can see why the old man was running. Ugh. I know, I know it looks all fancy, 
But wait until you get a load of the flavor and aroma. Yeah, I'm, I suppose that's a good thing. Here's to you, Cyber Sleuth. Slurp. <laughs> he collapsed! Uh, yeah, I'll save. Uh, well, I guess next time, um, I'll do, I'll see about the devolving, but, um, I have to go, guys, um, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, um, if you think your friends will enjoy it, share it, with, you know, I don't know, share it with them, I guess, you know, but, uh, it's just a like, you know, a like and a share, come on, you know, it's not that hard, it's a couple of clicks, but, uh, I can't, wouldn't be have, doing these videos if it wasn't for you guys, so um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in whatever video I make next. Thanks for watching.